Yeah, so uh, what you see here on the right side of this slide is the structure of the focus area as we have defined it in the IUGG or during the IUGG in Montreal in 19, uh, 2019. So, and I want to give you now something or some information about the status and the progress. So first of all, you know, because of the Corona pandemic, we had to shift most of the planned activities from last year now to 2022. However, we could arrange uh, splinter meetings so or large splinter meeting together with the IAG subcommission 4.3 in April uh, 2021. So now at uh, EGU 2022, uh, some things will happen. I have here a, a list what uh, I think has to be mentioned here now in this context. So on the one hand side, we have uh, topics which are related to our focus area will be presented uh, in the session G 5.1, which is called Ionosphere, Thermosphere and Space Weather Monitoring and Modeling. This uh, session will be uh, convened by Isan Fogotan, so the vice chair of uh, the focus area and uh, Christine Fielberg. She is uh, uh, a chair of one of our working groups and myself, we will be uh, co-conveners of that session. Uh, the session will be on Monday next week, so more or less in, in one week, uh, in the morning between 8.30 and 11.05. And in a moment we have already 15 uh, presentations, which will be given either on-site or online. Uh, yeah, can you see switch to the next slide? Yeah, then I want to give you some information about uh, something what we planned in the last weeks, uh, namely the preparation of the second international symposium of the IAG Commission 4. Uh, this uh, symposium will take place in uh, September uh, this year in Potsdam, the 5th to the 8th of September. And uh, as I already mentioned, we scheduled that uh, for September 2020, but then we have to postpone it by uh, two years. So here see the, so the, 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 the head or the, the, the top part of the website. You see there also the uh, HTTP address of uh, this uh, conference. I will give you a little bit more information on the next slide. So please uh, switch to the next slide. Yeah, so uh, we prepared uh, in the last uh, weeks a lot of that, uh, mostly by my my uh, ex-colleague here, former colleague from DJFI, Robert Heinkelmann. Thank you very much to him, but also some others have been uh, incorporated and uh, myself, I also worked on that. And uh, this website I mentioned before, which is also listed here again in the bottom part, uh, we have some general information about the scientific content of the symposium. Uh, some things I want to ex I want to take as extracts here, these uh, four bullet points. Uh, first of all, the, the topic is uh, besides uh, positioning, uh, there is another focus of this symposium, uh, which will be on remote sensing and modeling of the lower and upper atmosphere. So this is of course related to the topic uh, of what uh, space weather research means. Then uh, the symposium will be carried out in close cooperation with the IGS. And on the other hand, then with the IAG GIGOS uh, focus area to the space weather research. That means we are deeply involved in this uh, uh, conference and there will be some sessions which are directly related to that what we are doing here. So I hope that we will, may have, that we will have uh, many uh, scientific presentations uh, that will be done all in a hybrid uh, form. So uh, hopefully we can be in in Potsdam with many people and have fruitful discussions. Furthermore, the symposium will be co-sponsored by the I International Association of Geomagnetism and Aeronomy, IAGA, uh, Interdivision Commission on Space Weather. So there is another group on space weather within the IAGA. Uh, I will come back to that on the next slide. Uh, but first I want to mention that one of the main topics of the symposium is mentioned in this general information will be uh, the investigations done to space weather research. Then I want to switch to the next slide. Yeah, some further information. So we uh, had set up a first draft of the session plan in the last uh, for uh, two weeks ago uh, for these four days and uh, a second uh, announcement uh, will be sent around in the next uh, days, or at least it will be presented soon. Abstract submission is in, in mid of June. 
Uh, then the local organizing committee is uh, composed by Robert, as I already said, uh, by Anja, Böhmer and Harald Schu. And in the science uh, organizing committee of now altogether 16 members, uh, besides uh, me also Ezan, so the vice chair is included. So we, as I said, we have a, a, yeah, a, a large or not a small part, which is related to this conference. Furthermore, uh, we had uh, invited two scientists from Yaga to become members of the SOC, and this was uh, Stefan Lotz and uh, Laura Lefebvre. And we have to plan now in or during this conference that we want to extend the scientific collaboration between IAG and IAGA in the uh, topic uh, space weather. And for that purpose, we will set up a larger discussion round. So I think that could be a fruitful uh, starting of uh, a cooperation between IAG and IAGA. Yeah, please switch to the next slide. Then I want to mention that we also started to work on the session plan of the next General Assembly of the IUGG, which will uh, take place in Berlin uh, in July next year. And there will also be a lot of uh, about several sessions on geodetic remote sensing, including atmosphere modeling and space weather research. Uh, furthermore, I want to say a few words to a workshop which was held in uh, as an online workshop last year in September. It was the fifth national space weather workshop in Germany. And after this, uh, we decided to prepare a document, uh, a document which includes recommendations for enhancing the German space weather capabilities and capacities in a coordinated approach. So you see this corresponding title here also in German. And uh, there we uh, set up a report or document of certain pages, which is uh, yeah, written in, in German. And it will be then officially addressed to the German federal government. I think this is also a, a large uh, success uh, what we achieved here. And we hope that there will be then some uh, yeah, response to that from the government. Yeah, please switch to the next uh, slide. Now I come to the uh, different uh, study groups and working groups. Uh, we have all together four. The first is a joint study group, which is related to the Intercommission Committee on Theory. Uh, coupling processes between magnetosphere, thermosphere, and ionosphere is chaired by Andres uh, Kalabia Aiba and Vice Chair is Munawa Shah from Pakistan. 11 group members we have there. The second one is electron density model. Modeling, this is chaired by Fabrizio Los Santos Prol and Vice Chair is Alberto Garcia Rigo from Spain. We have 18 group members. Fabrizio, in the meantime, uh, moved from uh, DLR in Australia now to Finland, and now he is working there for the Finnish Geospatial Research Institute. Please, uh, the next slide. Then we have the joint working group number two. Uh, now we are one too fast. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is the improvement of thermospheric models. So Christian Siemens and uh, Christine Fielberg are leading that group and we have nine group members. And finally, uh, we have the joint working group three, improved understanding of space weather events and their monitoring by satellite missions. Here we had a change now. Uh, Heike Liu took over the chair from Alberto Garcia Rigo. He, uh, she is now uh, leading and uh, chairing that group and uh, Benedict Soya is the vice chair, 11 group members. Now please to the next. I do not want to go into too much detail. We have no time for that anymore. So we, I only want to tell you a bit about the, that what the joint working group number one is doing. Uh, this is, as I said, uh, called electron density modeling. And here it is, uh, I think, important to to notice or to report that there are three new global electron density models which have been developed by the group members uh, for the plasma sphere on the one hand side and the climatology model, climatological model has to be has been uh, uh, developed and also high resolution 3D electron density from tomography. So I think uh, in my opinion that electron density model is one of the most important issues in space weather monitoring and modeling from the geodetic point 
point of view, and uh, therefore I'm very happy to have these new uh, electron density models here. Uh, and also, this is here shown in the second bullet, that we have advances in the development of a simulated database to perform the, uh, the evaluations. We have Tudor ranges, carrier phase measurements, and also Doppler shift uh, measurements as uh, simulated data. So please, the next slide. Uh, just a short in, uh, summary about that, what the Joint Working Group 3 is doing. So on the one hand side, there was a Google Forms survey to gather feedback from the members of the group. I mentioned that also last year, I think. Uh, maybe next slide. This is then just uh, here an overview of what was asked in this uh, survey. And then you can switch, please, to the next slide because here now uh, all uh, the different points which are then the consequence of that uh, survey have been listed. So the selection of historically representative space weather events, identification of space weather data sources and so on. So there is a, a large uh, list here of uh, things which happened as a consequence of that what was uh, uh, the, were the results from that uh, survey. Um, yeah, I think that's maybe the last slide, or is this the last slide? Yeah, the last slide is this here. Uh, on the one hand side, improving of near real-time determination of the electron density is uh, one of the future plans of this group. Then combination of measurements, which in my opinion is one very important topic. How can we combine space geodetic techniques and data, uh, observation techniques and the uh, measurements from uh, sp solar spacecraft missions? Uh, this is uh, an open point, open question. And finally, uh, always important are comparisons and validations using external data in particular from the spacecraft. Okay, I think that was all. Thank you very much. And uh, are there questions?